What are you holding on to that is holding you back? Why are you holding on to the banana? Oh my gosh, I love, love, love the story of the monkey and the banana, which I'm going to share with you in this video, but it's not just that. It's really to help you get unstuck. Letting go has been so hard for me in moving forward and sometimes still is. So when I just think back about the story of the monkey and the banana, I know how to get unstuck and move forward. And so I want to help you do the same thing. So I'm going to tell you the story and tell you how to use it. And I'm so happy that you found my channel because I want to help you create the life that you desire. I want to help you quit that nine to five or that career that's keeping you stuck and move forward. And by the way, I also created a free training to get you unstuck and I have some free resources, but I will mention more of that at the end of this video because I have another free gift and it's not just the link in the resource below, but there's more to come. So keep watching until the end, but let's crack on about the story of the banana. I'm so happy to tell you more about the story of the banana because it's, it's really been so helpful for me to let go and to move forward and to really dig deep into, hey, wait, what am I holding on to? And it still helps me today because I still have moments that I'm thinking, okay, 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 I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, but I'm not so sure. And I'm, and I'm just holding on like, like, like hitting the brakes on your car. You know, you just, you want to move forward, but you're hitting the brake and, uh, and, and you really, we're only just doing it to ourselves. So the story of the banana, which I'm going to tell you in a second, is just super powerful because here's the thing, life does not give you what you want. Life gives you what you believe in. I'm going to repeat that. Life does not give you what you want. Life gives you what you believe in. So the power of your thoughts and what you believe in and the stories you're telling yourself and those limiting beliefs that are holding you back, that's keeping you from living the life that you want. So, do you want to be the monkey that is captured or do you want to be the wise monkey that is not captured? Hmm. Here's the thing. Do you know how to capture monkeys? Well, let me show you. I have my... <laughs> Look, what is this? You will say, well, this is how they capture monkeys. Not exactly with this, but something similar. So what you do if you want to capture a monkey or try to is you hang something similar like this in a tree. So what it is, is like, it could be like a coconut that you hold out and you leave a little hole or a, a carton box or some type of cage anyway, that you can actually fit your hand, right? So what happens is you put a banana in here, you wait, and the monkey then comes and the monkey wants the banana. So the monkey will enter, grab the banana and then get stuck. See, I'm stuck. I can't get out. So the only way to free myself, to break through is by letting go of the banana and freeing myself. But the monkey, the not so smart monkey that is being captured, will hold on to the banana. Oh, I just, I can't let go of the banana. I need this banana. And that's how the monkey gets captured. But what the monkey is not seeing is that if he lets go of this banana, there's a forest full of trees with hundreds and I don't know how many more bananas out there. But he doesn't see that because he's holding on to this banana. So I want you to think about this story, which for me, it's very, very powerful. Because it makes me realize, wait a minute, what am I holding on to? And because sometimes I'm holding on to, let's say, I, it took me some years. Let me give you an example. It took me some years to let go of my corporate career. Why? Because I was holding on to it because I didn't want to let go of the money and the finances. And I was, I didn't want to let go of all of that, but I didn't see all the opportunities waiting for me. I did not see that I could become a successful, you know, coach and, and get clients and do online courses and create YouTube. I didn't see all of that because I was holding on to that job and that money, but it wasn't making me happy. So the moment I started realizing, wait a minute, what am I holding on to? And I had all these limiting beliefs of, 
I'm not good enough and I can't do that and, and who's going to watch my videos and, 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 and who, who are going to be my clients and how am I going to do it and I, I was just constantly, constantly breaking myself, like putting the brakes on the car just because, because I was holding on and it's about letting go. And it happens, you know, in, in small things and big decisions and, you know, but I want you to really think, and every time I'm stuck, I do the same thing still today. I'm like, okay, I want to move forward, but I'm afraid what's going on. What am I holding on to? What am I holding on to that? I can let go and move forward because life is not giving me what I want. Life is giving me what I believe in. And if I keep believing in my fears and if I keep believing in my limiting beliefs that, that I'm not good enough and I can't make it and I'm not trusting myself, then I'm holding on to the banana and I can't move forward. But it's when I let go that you see more opportunities. And when I let go of what is keeping me stuck, I will see more opportunities that I'm not seeing now. You can't see it as long as you hold on to that banana. So I want you to ask yourself, what are you holding on to that is keeping you stuck? And what can you do to let go and move forward? Are you in a relationship that you're holding on to, but you, you, you don't see what else is out there? Are you holding on to a job? What are you holding on to that is holding you back in your life and in creating the life that you desire? Think about it, think about it, and then face it, face it. You have to face it. You have to learn to let go sometimes and move on into your life. And I can't say it enough, but I love this example and I hope it's helping you too. So I want you to comment below. Did you know the story and what are you holding on to or did you hold on to and let go? So your action step is to find the resource below because it's a video training of how to get unstuck. But I also want to tell you if you're very stuck and you don't really know what you're holding on to and you want to let go, you want to create the life that you really desire, let's have a talk together. You can book a free call with me. It's a free consultation and I can guide you through and create some clarity in sometimes our very busy head. <laughs> so don't worry. You can find all the links right below and comment also. I want to read from you. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video because remember, subscribe, hit that red button and the notification bell and I'll see you in the next video.